Hey there, you're watching Alexa. If you're new, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer Review. And I'm using the shade in 3.3. Now, in this concealer series, I'm gonna be doing eight different wear tests on eight different concealers, obviously and I'll be wearing them for probably at least five hours. I'm saying that because, I mean, it's such an extraordinary year this year. I don't know about any of you guys, but um, as soon as I get home from anything, I'm immediately washing my face if I'm wearing any makeup because I just want to unwind when I get home and have a clean face. Let's get into the description of this bad boy. It is a 24 hour waterproof concealer with a transfer proof natural matte finish and breathable full coverage to conceal, correct, and contour. Okay, the coverage is full, the finish is matte. It's a liquid formulation and it's ideal for any skin type, normal, dry, combination, and oily. What else do you need to know? This full coverage blurring concealer is waterproof, sweat proof, transfer proof, and delivers 24 hour wear, lightweight and airy. This blendable multitasking formula has an extra large applicator. We've seen this applicator with the likes of Shape Tape and a lot of drugstore concealers, including two other concealers that I will be covering in this series have those types of doe foot applicators and precision tip for use all over the face to spot conceal correct under eye circles or to contour. Now, I guess they're saying this because it's supposed to be a multi-purpose concealer formula that can be used for contour if you're buying a darker shade. My thing is I will use concealer for one of two things. Either I am trying to conceal under eye circles or darkness or trying to look more awake and just brighten up that area particularly like the inner corner or I am concealing pimples in that case I prefer a fuller coverage foundation so that I don't actually have to bother so much with having so many different things to apply onto my face I'll just build up foundation on the areas that need a little bit more coverage and try to feather out the edges so that it's a little less apparent. So my main purpose for using concealer, again, mostly under eye circles. I'm going to very quickly mention the products that I'm using on my face before I begin testing out these concealers. I'll be using this Bioderma moisturizer. This is the Hydra Bio Serum for sensitive and very dehydrated skin. I'll be using a primer. This is the Shu Amara Block Booster, which is in my Project Pan. Um, this has SPF in it. For foundation, I'm using a mix of two. I am using the Rimmel Stay Matte Full Coverage Foundation in 202 Sun Beige because it's a little bit darker and um, I want to match both the finish and the darkness of the concealer that I'm using today. And I'll also be using a little bit of the Bioderma Sensibio CC Cream to mm, kind of water down the mattifying foundation because I'm not the biggest fan of super full coverage. I tend to kind of fake it till I make it with bronzer and just kind of, you'll see. I'm gonna put on a primer and a moisturizer together. Oh, this feels so good. And I'm gonna give that a moment to absorb. Today I'm gonna especially make sure that I'm not applying any foundation around my under eye area too much because I want the concealer to be the focus of that part. So I'm just going to dot these products on my face and blend them out. Then I'm just going to pat that down with my beauty sponge from AOA, Shop Miss AOA, whatever 
and we're ready for the concealer. Let's do this. All right, now that we're this close, I hope I have no eye caca happening, but you never know. Do I have eye caca? No, I don't think so. The doe foot applicator just looks like this. Very typical uh, tart style right there. Shape tape style. I don't want to go ham with this in the beginning. These are very light dots that I'm using because and I'm gonna take a Real Techniques highlighting brush and feather that out. This shade is actually something I requested over the summertime, which is why it's a little bit darker. But there's a very light application. Maybe I'll use my finger this time. I've definitely gotten more coverage. I'll be taking the NYX HD Finishing Powder. I'm using the same brush, but it's got a different color ferrule because, I mean, it's just a duplicate. I'm gonna go ahead and top up my foundation a little bit on some areas where I could use a little bit more coverage. But this is how the concealer is looking for Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. What I'm going to do now is set the rest of my foundation, do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back in a jiffy. Oh hey, I'm back, and it is presently, uh, I don't know if you can see, it's 6.43. Let's zoom in and see what it looks like. Hopefully you can see what I see. There is a little bit of clinging onto the texture down here. Not the biggest fan of that, but um, it is a matte concealer. Maybe paired with a good under eye cream that will be solved or would be solved, I would just prefer to lean towards a product like this when it's warmer outside. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried the matte velvet concealer, what's your shade in the summer, in the winter. Have you tried the foundation or the powder foundation? I've heard so many good things about those. Let me know if you have, and I look forward to seeing you for the next seven days as we continue on our concealer journey. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're always notified of when I post another video, and thank you so much for making it to the end. Have a good one!